So today's uh, film was a 1999 German film based on a book that's based on the true story of two women during World War II. This film is called Amy and Jaguar, and it was written and directed by Matt, Max Robinbach. And it tells the story of uh, Lily Wust and Felice Schragenheim. They were two Berliners during the tail end of World War II. Lily Wust was married to a Nazi soldier. She was a German housewife. She had four children. Um, she was often stepping out on her husband, very unhappy. Felice Schragenheim was hiding in plain sight. She was a, a Jewish woman who uh, worked for a Nazi newspaper and, and smuggled secrets to the Jewish underground. She was also a lesbian. Um, and after meeting her then lover's um, boss, Lily, she falls for her and the two women begin an affair. Um, and basically Lily becomes part of the like Berlin lesbian set. Um, there is a sort of a side plot of um, Felice and her friends attempting to uh, get papers to escape out of Berlin. Um, these are, are played by Joanna Wallacek, um, Heike, I'm really bad with German names, Heike Makach, who um, was also in Love Actually. I, when I saw her face, I was like, I recognize this. And Elizabeth Degen. Um, these women all sort of find solace in each other while they're trying to get through the end of this war and the ones who are Jewish to get through, you know, not being found out. Um, a wrench is thrown into this as Lily and Felice fall in love because now uh, Felice maybe doesn't want to leave and um, they can all get found out and that causes a lot of the turmoil in the film as long as well as all of the bombing etc etc that's happening around Berlin at this time. Um, so it's, it's a very tense war thriller while also being a beautiful romance love story. Um, and, and what's remarkable about it is that, uh, Lily actually lived through all of this and in the nineties told her story, um, which is how it got turned into a book, which is how it then got turned into this film. And at the time that this film was made, Lily was still alive and she actually lived until 2006. Um, whereas, uh, spoiler for history, uh, unfortunately Felice does not make it out of the war, um. And in fact, probably died in a death march at, right as they were um, liberating the camps. Um, she got sent to the camps towards the end and unfortunately didn't make it. Um, and so this film obviously has a bittersweet ending in that you know that, that one of them isn't going to make it. And um, But at the same time, seeing them be so in love and seeing Felice's strength in, in both her resounding love for this other woman, but also in her uh, attempts to help her friends and her attempts to help the underground. Um, it makes you wonder, like, how anyone could be so strong. Um, but you see it every day. Strong people, um, strong women, trying to change the world and make the world a better place. And, and it's unfortunate that we don't get enough of their stories told, especially strong women of the past. Um, Especially once it, we, it seems to me like those stories that do get told are the ones that are super sad, which is good. Like there's some st stories should be told, but I wish there were more stories of like people who like did great things and didn't die. That'd be nice. Um, so this is beautifully shot, beautiful um, period details, all that beautiful Marcel waves and um, costumes and beautiful, rich, dark 30s, 40s, you know, lipsticks and... Um, couple of moments that are, are callbacks to German um, culture at the time. There's several shots that are reminiscent of uh, Marlena Dietrich. The um, film was shot by Tony Emi, and I, I don't know that I'd seen, let's see, I don't know that I've seen much else that he's done. I'm looking on here. He did a lot of movies, wow. Um, is that TV remake of the Sunshine Boys? No, but it's it's beautifully shot, and there are moments that are really evocative 
um, in bringing how terrifying being in a, a besieged city can be. Um, there's a moment where the um, Lily's trying to walk to go find her children, and they've the night before there's been a bombing, and just casually kind of on the sidewalk there's like burned corpses that are being you know moved out of the way, and the way that um, it just they just deal with it um, is is both terrifying and I think um, telling of of how you have to switch off some of your humanity in order to survive horrors. Um, don't switch off too much of your humanity, though. Obviously, that's how the horrors happen. Um, so this was a, a timely, lovely film. Um, and like many a film during World War II, set during World War II, watching them now, you're like, oh, we should have learned. And yet we see where we're at as a society. And you're like, oh, man, we haven't learned shit. Um, if anything, the thing that we have learned, or at least some of us have learned, is to live for today. And that was... Felice's um, motto, and that's what she did, and that's how she um, lived her life, and that's till the very end, and I think that's a lesson that we could all take to heart. So um, this is Amy and Jaguar. It is on Filmstruck right now. You can stream it. It will make you cry. It's lovely. You should definitely check it out as we get towards the end of Pride Month.